Hey guys, Nigel here again with tip of the day. Uh, Nigel with nextdayatm.com. Now, I want to give you a tip on loading your own ATM machine. When you're loading your own ATM, you definitely want to be careful. Now, it's not a big deal to me. I've been doing it a very long time. However, I do have certain rules that I go by. Now, I've been in the business for over 20 years, and I do all aspects of ATMs. I sell them, I own them, I buy them, I rent them, uh, whatever you have to need to do. If you need an ATM tomorrow for your event, I'm your guy. So what i got here, number one, it's very important to pick a good bank. Now, I personally, I like Wells Fargo, I like Bank of America. Why do I like them? Because I tell you what, there are so many branches that are all over the place. I can go to one at nearly every one of my locations and just get just enough cash, throw in the machine, I'm not at risk for um, having an abundance of cash. Number two, a big one. People don't understand this. Never order your cash. If you call the bank up and say, hey, I'd like to order some cash for ATMs, uh, let's say you're one of the bigger guys in the business and you want to order over $10,000, don't do it. Now, you can call ahead to your bank and say, hey, if I come by, do you have any 20s I can buy? Never do what a friend of mine did. He ordered $42,000. He put it in his car, he left, and before he knew it, it was gone. Either way, just don't do that. What happened was, people at the bank realized every day he was coming in at the same time, he was ordering a certain amount of cash, and the word got around. Now, he made two mistakes there. First, he went in at the same time every day. Secondly, he ordered his cash. You don't do that. And I'll tell you why in a second. So not only did he get robbed, he got his account closed down as well sometime later. And when he asked them why, they said, we don't have a reason why, we just don't like you. So what happened was this. When you order your cash, if you are someone like my friend, he is someone that does not keep a credit card balance. He pays it off every month. He doesn't keep an, any overdraft. He never lets the account overdraw. He never has fees on his account. Also, when you're ordering cash, they charge you a percentage of each transaction. But believe me when I say, if the bank gets wind of you ordering large amounts of cash, they will shut your account down, and this is why. First of all, if you don't keep a credit card balance, they cannot make money on you. If you don't overdraw, they can't make money on you. If you just pay the simple fee, that's not making enough money. So if you order cash, you become a liability to the bank. They don't like it. They have this algorithm that says their risk factor. And they'd rather not have you as a customer because they're just all they're doing is holding large amounts of cash for you to keep coming and going with. And they're not making a fee. So what I do is I just go to random. I love Bank America. They are everywhere. I mean, I've got multiple locations and I can go to anywhere within three or four miles and there's a Bank of America there. So I don't even call ahead. I don't want to alert people that I'm coming in for money. I just go in the bank and I take my chances. Hey, can I pick up some money? Yes, no. Well, how much can I pick up? And they'll tell me. If I can't get it, I do sometimes end up going to two or three banks just to get the money I need for that day. People do talk and they will get to know your schedule. Again, use multiple banks. If you need to go load 10 machines that day, pick up enough for two or three of those machines, load them up, and then go to another bank. Don't take the risk. It's not worth it. You're carrying too much cash in and out of those locations. You don't need someone doing that and just coming up to rob you. Dress casual. Don't dress fancy. Don't dress like um, you're, you've got money. Carry your money in a very casual bag or a pouch. Hide it on yourself. Whatever you've got to do, but just be very casual, okay? In fact, scruffier the better and don't drive a nice fancy car because then they start to think you're rich. And also the owners of the location, a lot of those guys are not doing as well as you might think. So don't make them jealous of you too. Just let them think you're just loading their machine and you're as hard up as they are. Again, load your ATMs at random times of the day. Uh, you can go online and you can monitor your ATM and see when it needs money. So just kind of be very random. Don't try and have a schedule. If you're ADD on that stuff, you don't want to be in this business. You want to be very random and very sporadic. Number seven here is very important. Only load enough money in your ATM for that four to five days maximum. Don't be loading your machine just because you've got a lower volume machine. Do not load it for 30, 40, 50 days ahead of time. Do not stack that thing up. Because if you got robbed or uh, raided by the, uh, if say you're in a dispensary and you got raided by the feds, they will take that money. 
don't get into that situation. So don't overload your machine. If you've got enough machines, you'll have a route anyway. And if they're local enough, you can just do it as you want. So anyway, you can contact me here at Nigel Dix, uh, nextdayatm.com. Come to our website. Uh, contact me at 714-381-7109. And toll free at 800-671-2221. Uh, um, like and share my video if you could. And if you have any questions, you need service, you need processing, you have questions how to get into business, um, also look me up on YouTube. Thanks guys. Later.